Hey guys, it's Fiona and today's video is DIY Tumblr inspired rings. So I got this idea off of Tumblr and Pinterest and I do, I am aware of other videos out there about these rings and I decided to share them with you guys because maybe you didn't search them up yet and I'm trying to make them a little bit twisted on some of the designs. So yeah, okay, let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first supplies you'll be needing is a round nose pliers. So this is important to help make loops in your ring, and you'll also be needing a flat nose pliers, which is also very helpful. Okay, so the most important supplies you'll be needing for this whole project is wire. So what I'm using is some really thin wire and then some 20 gauge wire, which I'll be using for my rings. Okay, the first step into making your basic ring is you're going to want to take either a mascara bottle or a makeup brush. And what you do is just wrap the wire around the makeup brush. And I'm going to be using the makeup brush because my fingers are pretty small and they're about as thick as the makeup brush. And you can always adjust it after you're done um, forming it. That way it fits your finger perfectly. So basically you just wrap it around there and then you take it off and you've got your basic ring shape. Okay, so here is the first step for the first ring we're going to be making. It's just a simple ring. So wrap your wire around your brush about two or three times. It's just your personal preference. And then you're going to want to start curving the edges back with your round nose plier. Make sure you use your round nose plier because it helps make the circular edges curled. So once you have both edges curled, this is what it should look like. And then you can just resize it on your hand the way you like it, and that's the finished ring. Okay, so the next ring we're going to be making is a little bit like of a more abstract one. So you're just going to want to do the edges and all the steps like you did before, except you're going to want to start pinching one side of the ring to make kind of like an arrow. And it'll look bad at first, but once you start working with it with your fingers, it'll turn out perfect. And make sure you have your pliers to make sure like to bend it correctly and make sure it looks like professionally done. And then once you have that step done, it'll look really cute on your finger. And this one, you can have just the arrow or you can have it both wrapped up in one. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Okay, bye, guys.